all right hey everybody welcome back to my channel so right now i'm gonna be filling my filming my january favorites january is over you guys january is over my birthday is officially in like five months five months my birthday um so yeah, I'm going to be filming my January favorites. I have a lot of highlighters. So if you are about that glow life, which a lot of us are, then I might have a highlighter in here for you that you guys really need to check out. Um, before we start, please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Once we hit 3,000, I'll be doing another giveaway. I don't do giveaways often. I do need to do more giveaways. Um... So I do, I will have a giveaway once we hit 3,000, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Come on, be a part of the Beauty Bee family. Make sure you hit that notification bell right next to it so you guys are notified every time I upload. And I have a huge sale going on, going on right now. My Poshmark, a lot of palettes are on sale. I have some highlighters up there. So down in the description box is going to be a link that says Shop My Stash for the Low. Click that link and you'll be directed straight to my Poshmark account. Um, and you can buy some of my makeup that is not used or lightly used. So, now that all that mess up the way, let's go ahead and get to the products I've been loving for the month of January. Quick thing, if you wanna, if you like this look, it was filmed. Um, so it'll be up either before this video or after it, I don't know yet. The first favorite I wanna start off with is this Neutrogena Body Oil. I love this body oil. I've been using it practically since the end of December, and that's all that I've used. I use it every single night. I love that it's extremely lightweight. I'm not slipping and sliding all over my house, and it is fragrance-free. I love that. I feel like sometimes oils have too much on with fragrance. You guys know I'm, I have a very sensitive nose. You guys know I am very sensitive to smell, so this is fragrance-free. I've been loving this because for some reason this winter and last winter, even some parts of the summer, I've been suffering from really dry skin. I've never had that problem before. I don't know where it came from, but I have been suffering from really dry skin. And so I really wanted to find something that was really lightweight and that could really moisturize my skin and make it soft again. And this has totally, totally done that for me. I use it every night. I take a shower. And you can use it in the shower or after. Your body just has to still be damp at least. So I pat my body dry a little bit. I put this stuff everywhere. You understand me? Everywhere. And I rub it in and my face, my body is glowy and soft for days, you guys. Um, I even went about two days without using it because after I got home from work, I took a shower and hit the bed. Um, and my skin was still soft, beautiful. My skin has a beautiful glow. That melanin be popping. So I've been loving this oil. So if you are suffering from dry skin, or even if you're not suffering from dry skin, you want something that, that really just moist, I mean, really gets deep and moisturizes the skin, the Neutrogena Body Oil is the shit. The next favorite I want to talk about is the Pinky Roll Center Stage Palette. I did do a whole tutorial on this. I will link it so you guys can check it out. I love this palette. It's really, really pigmented. I like it a lot more than I like the Beauty Rust, even though I've been using Beauty Rust. What? No. Rustic Rose. I did also do a tutorial on the Rustic Rose palette, and I have been using it. I don't think it's a favorite for me because... I like it, but I'm not in love with it at least as much as I love this palette. I love this palette. It's so gorgeous, so beautiful, it's pigmented, beautiful shades. I love the pressed glitters. I love this palette. You can do a daytime look, a nighttime look. You can even do a smoky with this, which is basic in Havana and maybe weekend. You can do a beautiful smoky. I love this palette. Um. I was a little skeptical about the press glitters, but they work fine. I've used them more than once. This palette is only $25, you guys, so get up on it. Links to everything will be down below. I've been loving this palette for the month of January. I haven't forgotten. I'm going to get that colorful one and do a video for you guys. Don't worry, but I absolutely love this palette. Also, if you guys like my hair color, I will leak what hair dye I use down in the description box. It's the same black hair I've been using. I just dyed it and colored it, so I will leave the hair color, the hair dye color that I used in the description box. The next palette I want to talk about is the Color Rain Beauty, um, 
cute one to call a beauty rest. Very cute palette. You guys, I've been loving this. Like, I absolutely adore this palette. The literally, the literally only thing I despise is Pinkleberry. It's so crumbly. It, like, crumbles out the pan. But it goes on so beautiful on the eyes. Um, in my Give Me Glow Cosmetics loose stardust highlighting palette video i do have this on my eyes. my makeup was a little crazy that day i just threw on whatever but i love my eyes because i just use pinkleberry purple berry and a little bit of palma berry and i had that whole look and i use kiss berry i had that whole look just done i love these mini palettes but this is the one that in month of january i could not like i couldn't put it down i could not not I could not not use this palette. I absolutely love it, you guys. I love this palette so much. It's so good. Um, so make sure you guys pick these up before they go away. They are limited edition. I do not want you guys to miss this palette. I have a video where I did a review on this one, the Lovelies and the Beauty Rust. I will link it so you guys can check it out. Get if you have not, if you're sleeping on this palette, you sleep. I need you to wake up, shake it off, and go out and purchase this palette next favorite i want to talk about is a brush set that i got for christmas from my sister um i believe she got these from like tj maxx or even marshall's that's what the packaging reminded me of really inexpensive and these are like due to those artiste brushes i've been loving them they're really i mean super duper soft they blend beautifully um i like to use this one for co cream contouring or you can even use it to smooth your concealer. I mean, they blend like a breeze. I love using this one for applying my inner corner highlight or even helping me on my with my eyeshadow. I haven't really found a use for this one, but I want to see how it works with the brows. But nonetheless, it's really inexpensive, and I really love them. They're soft. They've been, like... I've been loving the way it's been applying my cream contour. I don't have any powder contour right now. I just have on my Fenty Stick and Espresso. Um... And my highlight, you guys, is Champagne Pop. And I have not worn Champagne Pop in, like, five months. But, um, but anyway, I've been loving these. So, thank you, Tiffany, for this Christmas gift. I really, since I've been using it, since I picked them up, I have not put them down. I really do love them. They've been making a lot of things that I do in my everyday makeup a lot easier. So, thank you, Tiffany. The next favorite I want to talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Lipstick in Cool brown i've been loving this if you've seen my rose gold simple glam video i will link it right here i use this i've been using this well i bought i bought this i bought this right before christmas like a week or two before christmas and i've been using it ever since i think i don't know how i totally missed it in my december favorites but here it is i love this if you are of my skin tone or even deeper or a little bit like medium to deep to deep dark this is gonna be a great nude for you for me i don't even have to wear a lip liner with that i mean i can but i don't always i mean don't, i don't all the time um if you are darker than me you may need to wear a lip liner with it but it is just a it's an overall perfect nude i love this lipstick i really do like the formula for me personally it goes on creamy but it's comfortable but it's a little drying not much but they are really comfortable and it goes on pretty creamy i've been loving this lipstick now we're gonna get into some glow so the first favorite i want to talk about is ooh, everything's falling the give me glow loose stardust highlighters if you see my review on these i will link it these are only five five dollars five okay and they are loose highlighters you get 11 grams of product which is more than ColourPop, more than artist couture and more than a lot of other loose highlighter brands um for five dollars i will link my review so you can see me swatch all of these but i've been loving these these are glowy goodness okay just glowy beautiful being that lasts all day if you are about that popping that popping highlight life you need these the ones that i've been wearing the most though is rich rose which is like the rose gold one I always said I'm not really into rose gold highlights, but Rich Rose is my sh is my jam. Like, 
if I'm thinking of, like, I have a Makeup Geek Rose Gold highlighter that I don't even wear, and now I'm just gonna put it up for still on my Poshmark because this one is, like, my, this is my staple rose gold highlight. Rose gold pulls way too light on me sometimes, way too pinky, but this is that perfect pinky gold. Like, Rich Rose is, ugh. I can talk about it all day. And I wear Starburst a lot, which is a champagne gold, and Peach Pop, which is a, like, bronzy gold. I don't wear cinnamon that often, but these three are, like, the, my jam. If you want to see me swatch them on my face and on my hand, click that video. It will also be in the description box so you guys can see. They are five. Uh, let me repeat that they are five dollars, and they are absolutely beautiful, stunning, phenomenal eye gag loose highlighters the next favorite i didn't think i would like that's why it took me so long to purchase it but every time i saw it on instagram i'm like let me just go in and buy this i went so far and i swatched it and it was good as bought and that is the anastasia beverly hills sugar glow kit i didn't get the sweets so i know they said a lot of the shades in here are repeats from the sweets one um i believe two are repeats from the sweets one is repeat is a repeat from the other glow kicks that I already have. I think it's that glow or gleam. One of them, those shades are in here, and there's a new shade. I don't remember which is which. I'm so sorry, but I love these. So three of them for me are new, and one for me is a repeat. I love this um, glow kit. I'm gonna swatch it. Yeah, I love this glow kit and surprisingly enough gum gum drop which is the top shade is my favorite sorry i had another swatch there but gum drop is like the one that has like a lavender purple undertone undertone type shift to it i'm surprised too but that is my favorite i love the way it looks on the skin this is the that's the highlighter that i'm wearing in my fancy beauty matte moselle um swatch video that's the that's the holiday that i'm wearing i've been loving this glow kit like i said i didn't think it would suit my skin tone as well as it does and i absolutely am obsessed with it i use it all the time like all the time i love the sugar glow kit my next favorites are the Artist Couture and Clad with Jackie Aina highlighters. And I did a whole review on these as well. It'll be linked down in the description box. Um I've been loving these, I know it's no surprise, but you would think LeBron's is my favorite, but it's not. My favorite out of the two is Le Peach. I think because I like more peachy gold highlights on my skin tone, I look at Champagne Pop. I love those on my skin tone. Don't get me wrong, LeBron's is beautiful, I wear it all the time. But if I had to pick between the two, Le Peach for me is my, me personally, Le Peach is my favorite. Because that's what, I'm, that's what I like best on my skin tone. I either go for a champagne gold or I go for a, like a really deep bronze. Um, and with this hair, it just matches. But anyway, I absolutely love this hot these highlighters they're absolutely gorgeous i love that like the packaging alone is like phenomenal um i believe they're still available they are limited edition and once they go they are gone so if you haven't um checked them out check click the link in the description box for the video i did on these and make sure you guys pick them up i absolutely love these the artist couture there's nothing more I can really say. Artist Couture makes amazing highlighters. I love Angel Marino. He's like a phenomenal makeup artist. And I absolutely love these glow babies. And the last little bit of glow I want to talk about are the Colored Rain Focal Point Glow Lights. I don't know why I've never mentioned these, but I really do like them. And I wear them a lot. I was doing my January favorites, and I was just like, well, this is my January favorites. I was like seeing what products I was going to put. And I was like, how come I never talked about these? Like, they're so good. These, I have the two, like, deepest shades. I have Watch Me Work and Your Tree. So, Your Tree is more of, like, a bronzy gold, whereas, like, no, this is Watch Me Work. Your Tree is, like, a bronzy gold. This is more of, like, a true gold. I absolutely love these. The formula is beautiful. They are super glowy. If you check out my Color Rain Mini Palettes video, I have one... I think you're a treat. But I've worn this. I've worn them both in videos and just never talked about them. Like, they're really, really good. So, check these out as well. They have a multitude of colors. So, there's a color for everyone. That's why I love Color Rain because they include everybody. So, like, there's a shade for everyone in their collection. The last favorite I want to talk about, I just used today to help me film this look. And I just got it in the mail. But I was so floored by this palette. 
I had to include it, and that is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Palette. This was like $24. I don't even have my, my phone's charging, so I can't even tell you how much I paid. But it was no more than $23 or $24 for this palette, and it's damn good. These shimmers in here. Look at Scorpio. Look at that. That is Sagittarius. I have Libra on my eyes. Cancer. I swatched Aries. is beautiful. Oh my God, I love these. Like, I, Pisces is in my inner corner, and I'm obsessed. I love this palette. I didn't use the highlighter, but I do swatch it. When this when this video goes up on this look, I do swatch the highlighter in the beginning. These mattes are really nice, beautifully pigmented. This is an amazing palette. BH did their thing. This hand is like, I'm going to try to swatch these. So we're going to swatch the Tarius, Scorpio... And Aquarius I'm sorry like pigment are you kidding are you kidding oh Aquarius is gorgeous it's like a yellow green duochrome like my camera is doing the pigmentation of these shimmers no justice these mattes are beautiful nice pigmented slightly powdery but they are on the buttery side they are just good this palette is bh let's go i love this palette so i had to include it because like i i had to say how florid and how beautiful and inexpensive might i add this palette is so i had to include it because like i i love this eye look i want i'm gonna do another tutorial with this palette maybe use an aquarius for my all oh my aquarius people out there i'm a gemini um so yeah i yes all right family so that was my all my January favorites. I hope you guys enjoy. I love these products. Make sure you guys check them out. Like I said, this look will be up either before this video or after. I don't know yet. Um, my filming schedule got messed up and I'm just... So I hope you guys enjoy. I, will, I love you all to absolute pieces and I will see you all in the next one. Mwah.